today and today we're gonna have a game of gauntlet on the Sinclair ZX Spectrum now well who hasn't played gauntlet um, I used to have this back in the day on my Amstrad CPC 464 but originally I played it on my friends Commodore 64 it was a great game especially for two players it, I think this game was potentially made for two players one player you ain't gonna get very far but two players it is a great game so let's see oh it plays on the spectrum right so space to continue right right first things first before it lets you change your controls you've got to pick either one or two players so push space bar one player so now I can choose my character now I can use the cursor keys now, back in the day, for some reason, I always was the wizard. I don't know why. <laughs> I was always the wizard. Um, so now I can choose my control key. Well, control, well, it could be control keys if you want to use keys. Um, so you've got a wide range of controls you can use. So you can use Sinclair, Kempston, Protec, Keyboard. And by the way, you probably noticed, this is the 128K version. Um, so... For the sake of this review, I'm going to put it on Kempston, so my magic keys will be caps lock. Now, I'm playing this on emulation, so where is caps? Oh, I'll just use maybe normal caps, I don't know. Um, so, with player 2, it will be space bar. Right, okay, now we've got that sorted. Hey, oh, so I've got to put player 2, but there's no player 2. Right. So I push fire. Now this game would have been multi-load, but maybe the one to eight K version they could load a lot of levels into memory. Now I I'm not going to start saying about the color because everyone knows about the Spectrum's limitation when it comes down to its color palette. It's how it plays. That's what I'm focused on. Now it says exit to level 4 there, but we're not going to do that. Because we're going to find another exit up there will, will skip us to level 8. So you can tell I used to play this game quite a lot with my mate. And we never completed it. Find the potion. So I think... Definitely there would have been a lot of fun here to have on this on the spectrum version. I mean it plays okay. So you definitely are getting a, a good conversion here. Oh whoa 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 I hate those things. I ain't got no magic potions as well, so I can't try out my magic key. Yeah, they're called death, those things. And believe me, they do drain your energy. Oh, go! Right, so, right, we've been here, haven't we? Yeah, certainly you're getting a good, certainly a good version here. Now, oh, Wiz has picked up extra power. But that ain't a... Um, a, uh, what should we call it, thing. They're teleports, like a magic potion, so I could use it. Because it would come up indicating at the bottom of your scores and where that... Oh, no! 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 Shit. Got to lure him out. What's that? What's that? What's that? Right, now I can go, go, go before he... Right, so now it's flashing, so I'm invincible. No, the food obviously restores a little bit. I think it gives you 100 health points. Right, and that... Oh, what did that do? I'm still invincible, so... Right, so now I've got that potion. So... 
and I've also got something else. I think that means that purple thing, that magenta thing, means I, I'm invincible. So yeah, this this got ported to the major 8 bits and as I said, I had it on the CPC 464, mate had it on the Commodore 64, and we played it for hours. Yes, but I think, yeah, definitely the Spectrum version's very playable as well. Right, I need the key. Oh, I think gonna die. Right, can I push caps? Yes. So pushing caps does that. But I've still got that potion. I've got two of them now. So if things get hectic, go for your all. Right, okay. Maybe I picked up an extra one. I don't, didn't realise. Oh no, I shot the food. But you've got to use them sparingly. You can't just waste them. And the beauty about this game, if you're playing two players, if you die and the other one's still alive, you can, you can regenerate your character again. So you can play this forever. With one player, you can't do that. Once you're dead, you're dead. Someone's always got to be alive at all times. And I'm dead. All right, okay. I've entered my name. Now what do I do? I'm pushing fire. Now, I think you can bring in a second player any time. So, it is geared for two players, but you can bring in a second player any time. And if you want, you can continue with that second player. Or try and play the game with two joysticks, I mean two players. And try and complete it on your own. Um, it's a good game. Yeah, the Spectrum version's very playable. Um, I would have... Enjoyed playing it with a mate back in the day on the Spectrum. No doubt about that. Yeah, good version. Anyway, going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time and goodbye.